Hey YouTube, this is James, The Last Heart Games. I have this old NES controller that's yellowed over time. Not uncommon at all. I want to retrobrite this controller, and there's this technique I've heard about in a couple places online that's supposed to work. Denture tablets. The theory here is that denture tablets can release some hydrogen peroxide when they dissolve, and hydrogen peroxide retrobrites things, so clearly denture tablets can also retrobrite things. I'm not so sure about this one, but let's give it a test anyways. Let's start by taking apart the NES controller. With the shell removed, per the instructions on the denture tablets, we're supposed to start with very warm water. This should be warm enough. With my very warm water placed in the tray, let's count out some denture tablets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think that should be enough. Next, we add our denture tablets to the water. And now we add our dentures, I mean shell, to the solution. Time to let this sit overnight and see how it does. I let this sit overnight. Let's see how it did. Hopefully we have brand new looking shells. Uh, they still look a little yellowed. I'm going to dry these off real quick. Let's, let's try a quick before and after shot. Before, after, yeah, I don't see a difference. After drying them off, there's these white splotches. Maybe, maybe that's a retrobriting reaction? Nope, I can scratch it off with my fingernail. I think it's just residue. So, do denture tablets retrobrite a controller? No, no, of course they don't. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing for more. I promise most of my other stuff actually works. Most of the time. Some of the time. Occasionally.